All right, so now I have um, a series that I need to find the sum of, and the direction is going to be uh, by using formulas. And this formula is for powers of the series. This is uh, for the first power, or 1 to the 1, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 3 to the 1, 4 to the 1. Then we have 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 1 to the 3rd, 2 to the 3rd, 1 to the 4th, 1 to the 5th. And these are standard formulas that are created for finding the sums of these uh, series that involve powers. So, here's an example. If I want the sum of the series for n equal 1 to 5 of n to the 4th, I have to figure out which formula I need. Now, looking at the formulas, do you know which one to use? Hopefully you said that one, right? Big clue, fourth power, fourth power. So, the sum of this series is just that formula. So, I need to do n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, 3n squared plus 3n minus 1, all over 30. Now here's the tricky part. This says for n equals 1 to 5. What number should I put in there for n? Should I put a 1, a 2, a 3? Always put that top number. Okay, so 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1. That would be 11. Um, 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75. So I got 75 plus 15 minus 1, 89. And then um, all over, oh, I copied it wrong, 30. Make sure you copy the problem right. Big problems if you don't, so all over 30. So now, trust your old calculator and you get to, no, nope, excuse me, you get 979. You guys should use your calculator to check this out, make sure I have it right. If I didn't, send me an email. Now, um, sometimes you're going to have variations using the sum formula. For example, suppose I wanted you to find the summation of, for n equals 1 to 5 of 3n to the 4th. What do you think you do? Watch this. 3 summation n to the 4th for n equals 1 to 5. So basically, the constant can be brought outside in front of the summation sign and then do this sum. Well, we already did that. It's 979, so now I just do 3 times 979, and then I get 29. Three, seven. Check it out. These are pretty easy. Now, there's one more type that I'd like to show you. All right, here we go with one more. <clears throat> All right, notice this one. Notice I started with i equals 1 to 6. So you can use different variables down here. n, i, and j are the most commonly used. So I have a summation of a subtraction problem. So the first thing to do is rewrite this as the summation of, for i equals 1 to 6, of 6i minus the summation of i equals 1 to 6 of 8i to the third. And then, one more thing, you can move the 6 out front here and the 8 out front here to make it even easier. So 6 times the summation for i equals 1 to 6 of i minus 8 times the summation of i equals 1 to 6 of i to the third. And then, at this point, it's just use the formulas, right? So, this one is the first power, so the sum is n times n plus 1, n plus 1, all over 2, times by 6. So, I have that 6 there, minus 8 times i to the third, that's this one here, n squared n plus 1 squared all over 4. Now, <clears throat> I like to do a little reducing before I get started. So now I have 3 times n times n plus 1 minus 2 times n squared times n plus 1 squared. Now, it's just plug and chug as they say. First one, what am I going to use here for a number? 6, right? So that's a 6. That's a 6. All right, 6, 
6. So 3 times 6, so that's 18 times 7. This is 6 squared is 36. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 squared is 49. Oh, this is getting messy here. Okay, so to finish this up, using the calculator here, 18 times 7 is 126. And 2 times 36 times 49 is 3528. And then if we do the subtraction there, I get negative 3502.